It did scare me this time. Actually, it's, it was scarier watching you guys watch the film. <laughs> so we're going to grab some questions from you, but I wanted to start off. I actually, I, don't, I haven't told you this, I was at the Egyptian theater at Sundance when Saw premiered. Way back when. And I'm wondering, like, you know, from that movie to this movie, what is the biggest, what do you think the greatest lesson you've learned about directing horror films is from then to now? Um, I, uh, you know, I think uh, they're, they're different kind of films, but uh, I think, I think what makes these movies work for me is, um, is, you know, trying to get into the mind of the audience. Um, I, I, I make movies for myself, and, um, and I, I, I like to think that, you know, that if something kind of like, you know, creep me out, scares me, then uh, hopefully someone else feels the same way as well. I don't really have a formula. I just try to make things that affect me personally. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I, when I was designing these films, I literally walk around the house at night and uh, just trying to scare myself. And I, and I walk around trying to think of concepts and ideas. And if I get chills, I'm like, hey, that scene's working. Uh, if I don't, then I throw it out and move on to another one. Yeah. How about you guys? Any questions? Do you want to raise your hands? Right there, up front. <laughs> what doll? What doll? Uh, I didn't get a particular doll, but I did see Portuguese at a very young age. age and uh, Portuguese has pretty fucked me up. Uh, I've, uh, I do, I have to admit to it, have uh, somewhat of an obsession with creepy dolls. Um, but, uh, but even though with this movie, I did not want to go there. Uh, it just so happened that one of the most famous cases